All right, so if I was going to work through this problem, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's a couple things we could look at. One thing, we could say, all right, how can I transform cos cosine squared, right, by using the Pythagorean identity? Um, however, another way we could look at this is usually we like to keep things in terms of sine and cosine, and we usually like to turn um, our other functions into sine and cosine. So I'm gonna, I would rather work with, if I was going to first start this problem, rather than change, changing cosine squared to something else, I'm gonna work on changing the secant squared. Because remember, when I have things in sine and cosine, it's easy for me to cancel things out. So what do I, how do I transform secant squared of x minus one? Well, I need to know my trig identity. And my trig identity for this, if you remember, the right now, go back over there. It is gonna be one plus tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. So that is your trig identity, which I had told you guys to write down on your note card, right? It's in your book, trig identity. You don't need to memorize it. You should just automatically have it up there and be like, oh, okay, I got that right there. Let's give it to me. So if you're given this, what, how can you rewrite it for secant squared minus one? Well, if I subtract the one on both sides, I'll be left with tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x minus one. Did I say that? So now I can rewrite secant squared of x minus 1 for tangent squared of x. You might say, well, how is that going to make it any different? Well, the important thing that's helpful about tangent and cotangent is tangent and cotangent, you know, like I said, we can rewrite this as sine over cosine, right? So now I can have <coughs> cosine squared of x equals that equals multiply by sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. So therefore, now, ladies and gentlemen, those cancel out, and I'm just left with sine squared of x. Okay? And like I said, you could have worked, you know, worked with it the other way, moving this to you know, your sine and stuff like that, but anyway, if you look at this, that's going to be some fun answer. Any questions?